morning, my tubies. I am going to introduce you to a woman who shows you how you should handle your narcissist who's cheating and has a side check. <clears throat> Her name is Faye Nelson. She's an African woman. She's uh, she's just so funny. <laughs> she's so funny. <laughs> this is how you should handle your narcissistic cheating bastard who has a side check. Listen. Love him. I hope you love him too. You know, I've been waiting for this call. I really want you to have him. Honey, I really want you to have this man. He's your man. You don't want wasting time. Can I have your address so I can move his stuff over to your house while he's at work? <laughs> Did you hear that? Can I have your address so I can move his stuff over to your house while he's at work? I mean, you're the one who really wants this. This Listen to her. She's funny. No, 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 no. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're the one going crazy over him. You are desperate. You are trying to stalk me on the Facebook. You, you, how did you even get my number? Look, I am so happy you've made so much progress to get in touch with me. I am at your service. I will donate this man to you. I want you to have this man. I don't want him in my house anymore. No, can you please send me your address because I want to bring his stuff to you. I want to bring everything this man owns in my house to you, okay? I'm dead serious right now. You want somebody to love you, right? You in love with him, right? I'm sure he in love with you because I've been knowing about you. I've been hearing about you. I, I know everything about you, man. And, and I didn't bother you. You're the one bothering me. So in, in order for me to get rid of his stress and your stress, I want you all to be together and live happily ever after. You know, I will, I will help plan your wedding. I will help everything happen. You know, <laughs> can you can you just give me the address? I want to bring your man to you. I want to donate him to you. Girlfriend, you got my number. Text me the address, okay? Okay? At least I can get a break. All right? I don't need this man sitting around my house, breathing off my air, running up my water bill, running up my light bill, and all this stuff, eating up all the food and stuff <laughs> like that. I'm tired with him. He <laughs> He's even breathing up all her air. <laughs> This is the perfect way to handle the situation. I'm loving her. He doesn't even have a job right now. So you see, you got, listen, you need to trust yourself and believe in yourself. The love that you have for, you know, love is the greatest of all. Love can move mountains. Love can take a lazy, good for nothing man, a gigolo, a freeloader, and turn him into a real man, a responsible man, a hardworking man. So I believe you can do it. I have tried. I have tried and I haven't been able to do it. So you know what? Instead of you sitting there and enjoying all the good times off of my expense, you think the phone he calls you and texts you on, you think that he's paying the bill? That's my money. The car you ride around with him in on dates and stuff that's my car so now my, I, I beg you i beg you please take this man i, I want to bring him to you test me your address let me bring him to you asap i want my water bill to go down i want my light bill to go down i want to start cooking so much food it's just me i can cook just for me matter of fact i don't even need to cook i need a break i don't i don't need no opposite sex around here especially not him so i beg you since you found my number since you you finally got in touch with me i'm glad you got in touch with me trust me I, Please, let's negotiate. Let's send me, your, send me send me your address, I beg you. If you don't send me my address, I will be the one stalking you to bring you all his stuff and your man to you. So, please. You don't think you want to move on that fast? Well, for someone who can stalk me and acting so desperate and trying to wring my neck and disgrace me, come on, he's yours now. Look, if you don't decide right now to take this man, if you don't decide right now to take this man, I will take some legal actions against you. Eh? I will take some legal actions against you. I'm going to make you and his life miserable to the point both of y'all will have no choice but to leave me out of it, okay? He will come running to you for survival. He will come running to you for his life. So if you know you want him, you better make up your mind right now. You have seven days to send me your address so I can bring your man to you and pack up all his stuff and bring him to you. Otherwise, you're going to be very sorry for ever trying to mess around with me. Now, is that the way to handle a situation? For him. <clears throat> or is that the way to handle a situation? That's right. You're not going to sit up here. You know, and the thing is, like she said, he doesn't work. He doesn't do anything but suck up all my air around here, eat up all the food, 
driving around in my car. He got you driving around. It, uh, the car that he drives you around in is my car. Really? You want this man? <laughs> you can have that. I love this. Again, her name is Faye Nelson. She has so many other videos on how to handle the side chick. <laughs> she, <laughs> she actually calls up the side chick and asks her about the recipe. Because, you know... She, the, the the side chick was sitting up there cooking for her husband, cooking for her man, you know? So instead of her getting it, it all bent out of shape, she called up the side chick. You know what? That recipe that you have. <laughs> Go check out her channel. Definitely subscribe because you're going to have so many laughs. <laughs> I took a day off work today and I just had to jump on here and share this with you. Hopefully this will bring a smile to your face. And make you laugh for today. You always have a choice. Choose wisely. And I love you. Bye.